Well, yesterday, we got a few things picked off the list for getting ready for this trip. We got a few things left today we're going to try to get to. Got to load some bicycles. Got to load some fishing gear. Going to Florida. Got to fish. So, let's shine up a few things on the trailer. Got a few maintenance items we're going to try to get to. I'm going to have my helper here for most of the day. He's going to try to help. We'll see. But stay tuned. See what we get into. What do you say, bud? Should we load the fishing stuff first? You think so? so? We'll try to go ahead and get this loaded in the garage of the trailer and see if we can't get the rod strapped down in some manner that they'll survive the trip down there and not get rearranged too terribly. Well, we got those good and strapped down. That should make the ride. We'll find out 960 miles from here. Imagine next, we'll get the bikes. Get them all strapped in here. Now it's time for bikes. Before I could load bikes, I had to mount some tie downs on the wall. This table's been in the way for quite some time, so this is something I had to take care of. After I got done strapping down the bikes, I decided that I didn't like the way they were strapped down at all, so I completely redid it. After bikes, it was time to wax the front cap. A bit of advice, when you build a shelter for your trailer, build it bigger than you need. Because when you upgrade to a new trailer that's bigger, the front end sticks out. And you end up having to wax it more than you like to keep it protected. Until you can afford to extend your shelter a little further out. I like to use Protectol spray. It's a good product, puts a good shine on the finish and really leaves a protective layer on it. While I was doing this, a delivery showed up. It was the new bike racks for the back of my truck. So when I get done doing this, I'll do an unboxing. And we'll see if that turns out. With new bikes, we needed a new bike rack. So I ordered the Swagman pickup rack that's holding two bikes. Ordered it from e-trailer. Got it to me pretty quick. A lot quicker than I expected. Pleasant surprise these days. Got tools and keys. Got some screws with Loctite on them. Got the fork carrier. Second fork carrier. It even comes with directions. I think we'll skip these. Alright, so we've got everything put together here. Got this hinge broke in the middle. 
what I'm going to try to do. This pad on this side and adjust this to the other side. Now that it's sitting right, so you just have to push down. That button just locked into place. And that locks it in place. Out of the box, these attachments come one on the bigger tube, and on the other side, one's mounted on the smaller tube. When you go to relocate this to the smaller section, you'll find that it's loose. Open it up. This block will slide right off like that. And there's another hole on the bottom. Slide right back in and it'll hinge. And now it's ready for this side. So to recap the installation process, these blocks that hold the forks of the bicycles are attached with these two screws that have thread locker on them. They supply an allen key, get those in there and get them torqued down. We went over adjusting these blocks with these two screws, they supply an allen key for that as well. Once everything's assembled, adjust this bar with this joint broken open to fit the bed of the truck. You simply push down and this detent locks into place and then you simply push that one in to release it all we do is put the key in pops that out and you can push this detent and lift this back up